Basque mythology is the cultural and religious beliefs of the Basque people, an ethnic group native to the Basque country, the region straddling the border of Spain and France. Basque mythology reflects a rich tradition that dates back thousands of years, with influences from prehistoric pagan religions and other cultural exchanges. The Basque people have a deep connection to nature, with gods and goddesses focused on various elements such as water, fire and the earth, one of the most prominent characters in Basque mythology is Mari, the goddess of nature and fertility. Mari is often depicted as a beautiful woman living in caves or pools of water, and she is connected to the underworld and the afterlife. Basque mythology also features a range of supernatural creatures, such as the Gentilac, giant beings, who are associated with the construction of megaliths across the region. Another important facet of Basque mythology is the existence of spirits and divinities associated with various elements of daily life, such as houses, wells, and caves. Basque mythology also includes a rich range of folk tales and legends, including tales of Basajorn, the spirit of the woods, and other stories that have been retold for generations. The Basque people have a unique relationship with their mythology, with many of these beliefs still being practiced and celebrated in modern times. Basque mythology is an essential aspect of Basque culture and continues to be a source of inspiration for art, literature, and music. Through their mythology, the Basque people demonstrate their deep connection to nature, respect for their ancestors, and a belief in the enduring power of myth and legend. Prepare to be captivated by the spellbinding tales and ancient legends that have entranced generations. Let us journey back in time to uncover the mystical and mysterious wonders of this fascinating culture. Discover enchanting tales of legendary creatures beyond your wildest dreams, and unravel the secrets of this mystical world on our adventurous expedition through the spellbinding realm of Basque mythology. Mari is a Basque goddess who is known as the Queen of Nature and is the feminine personification of Mother Earth. She represents everything related to the natural world and is revered by the Basque people for her powers and abilities. Mari's powers are fascinating as she possesses the ability to manipulate the change in climate to be either beneficial or harmful to the people. This is why the Basque people have considered her to be both a blessing and a curse depending on the situation. Some of her endeavors include punishing lies, theft, and pride, creating storms, and causing earthquakes and floods. Mari is depicted with the body and face of a beautiful woman with long blonde hair that she combs with a golden comb in the sunlight. She represents the nurturing and protective aspects of nature, which is why she is viewed as a mother figure to many Basque people. Her appearance is stunning and ethereal, and people believe that she is the epitome of natural beauty. In Basque mythology, Mari is believed to live inside a cave situated in the Amboto mountain. This cave is believed to be the entrance to the underworld and it is said that Mari has the power to shape the world through her position in this cave. Therefore, she is considered one of the most influential goddesses of Basque mythology. Another exciting aspect of Mari is her connection to the weather and climate. It is believed that she can change the weather and control the wind, rain, and thunder, among other things. This connection to the natural world is why she is considered fundamental to the Basque people's perspective on nature and its importance. In conclusion, Mari is much more than a simple mythological goddess. She embodies the power, beauty, and mystery of nature. Her connection to the earth and the elements makes her a revered and respected figure in the Basque people's culture. Even today, many Basque people still hold on to their beliefs and traditions in Mari and the goddess's power, which is a testament to Mari's lasting influence. Basahorn was a mysterious and powerful deity worshipped by the ancient Basque people. He was believed to inhabit the dense forests and mountainous regions of the Basque country, and was revered as the protector of nature, animals, and humanity. He was depicted as a towering figure, standing at least seven feet tall, with long hair and a beard made of leaves and branches. He wore a tunic made of woven grass and carried a staff made from a tree branch, which represented his mastery over the forces of nature. Basahorn's powers were said to be immense and varied, allowing him to control the elements, communicate with animals, heal the sick, and create magical potions and spells. He was also believed to possess the ability to shape-shift into different forms, such as a wolf, a bear, or a tree. 
As the guardian of the forests and mountains, Vassar Horn was responsible for ensuring the balance of nature was maintained. He was said to intervene in human affairs when the natural world was threatened, punishing those who dared to harm the earth and its inhabitants. The Basque people saw Vassar Horn as a symbol of wisdom, strength, and compassion, and his teachings and guidance were sought after by many. He was revered as a teacher of craftsmanship and agriculture, and was credited with teaching the Basque people the art of ironworking and brewing. In times of trouble or conflict, the Basque people would turn to Bassahorn for protection and guidance. He was seen as a powerful ally and defender of the Basque way of life, and his presence was felt throughout the land, inspiring awe and reverence in all who encountered him. Despite being a mysterious and elusive deity, Bassahorn remains an important symbol of Basque culture and mythology to this day. His legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of the Basque people, who continue to honor and respect the natural world and all its inhabitants. Suga is a Basque god whose story, like that of many ancient deities, has been lost over time. However, the few fragments of information that remain paint a picture of a powerful and fearsome god who commanded respect from mortals and gods alike. Suga was believed to be the consort of Mari, the major Basque goddess of nature, fertility, and weather. Together, they ruled over the Basque pantheon, and Suga was revered as a god of thunder, storms, and the underworld. He was also associated with snakes, which were ancient symbols of healing, rebirth, and transformation. To the Basque people, Suga represented the primal forces of nature, the raw power of the earth and the sky, and the deep mysteries of the human soul. He was a god of the people, earthy and wild, who inflicted punishment on those who transgressed the laws of nature, the gods, and society. His powers were numerous and terrifying. He could summon lightning bolts from the sky, send storms to ravage crops, and unleash earthquakes to shake the earth. He was a formidable warrior, who fought with a mighty club, which he could transform into a serpent at will. He was also a shapeshifter, able to take on the form of a man, a bull, a snake, or an eagle. His appearance as a snake was particularly significant as it symbolized his connection to the underworld and his ability to move between realms. In Basque mythology, Suga was also known as a god of justice, who would punish those who violated the moral codes of his society. He was especially strict when it came to disobedient children. According to legend, if a child did not obey their parents, Suga would come to them in the form of a serpent and swallow them whole, taking them to the underworld as punishment. This grisly tale was a warning to children to respect their elders and obey the rules of the community. Suga's relationship with Mari was an important aspect of Basque mythology. The two were often depicted as a yin and yang, a complementary pair who balanced each other's energies. Mari was associated with the sky, the sun, and the moon, while Suga represented the earth, the storms, and the snakes. Together, they symbolized the cycle of life and death, the interdependence of nature and humanity, and the eternal struggle between order and chaos. In conclusion, Suga was a complex and multifaceted god who embodied the power and mystery of nature. His appearance as a snake was a potent symbol of his connection to the underworld and his ability to move between realms. His role as a punisher of disobedient children was a reminder of the importance of respecting societal norms and family values, and his relationship with Mari highlighted the cyclical nature of life and the interconnectedness of all things. Although his legacy has been largely forgotten, Suga remains a fascinating and enigmatic figure in Basque mythology. Ideko is one of the fascinating deities of the Basque mythology, believed to be an old god of the Basque people. He was commonly known as the Lord of Misfortunes, and was considered to be responsible for all the unexplained illnesses and tragedies that struck people in the region. The Basque people believed that Ideko had ultimate power over all aspects of life and death, creating an aura of both fear and respect around him. Ideko was known to be one of the most powerful Basque gods and was endowed with special abilities that were specific to him. Firstly, he was considered all-knowing, with the ability to see into people's lives and predict their future. Many Basque people offered prayers to him, asking for guidance and protection from everyday misfortunes that may come their way. Another power that Ideko was believed to possess was the power to heal the sick and injured. It was said that if anyone was gravely ill or injured, they must seek out the aid of Ideko, 
who could cure them with the use of divine powers. Thus, the Basque people revered him as a god of prosperity and good health. However, despite his healing powers, Ideko was also feared for being the harbinger of misfortunes. Many believe that if someone encountered an accident or fell ill without any physical cause or medical explanation, it was due to Ideko's mischievous spirits. The Basque people would often hold elaborate prayers and ceremonies to dispel Ideko's influence, hoping to ward off any potential evil that he may bring. Ideko's reputation as a god with immense powers of both good and evil made him a significant figure in Basque mythology. While the people respected his abilities and prowess, they also feared his wrath and sought to appease him with offerings and prayers. His role as the Lord of Misfortunes has continued to hold influence over the Basque people, with many still praying to him for guidance and protection. In conclusion, Ideko remains a prominent figure in Basque mythology and folklore, embodying both the positive and negative aspects of life. His powers of healing and divination were celebrated, while his association with illness and tragedy was feared. Despite his dual nature, his influence in Basque culture remains strong, and his legend continues to be passed down from generation to generation. Gao Echo is a lesser known mythical figure from Basque mythology. He is often referred to as the god of darkness, shadows and fear. The Basque people have always believed that he is the spirit that watches over the night, and all the darkness that dwells within it. In Basque mythology, Gao Echo is a supernatural being that embodies fear, dread, and the dread of the unknown. It is said that he has the power to possess and control humans, making them act in strange and unpredictable ways. Gao Echo is also considered to have the power to turn himself into a wolf or other animals, which he uses to stalk his prey and intimidate his enemies. The Basque people have always respected Gao Echo's power and have maintained a cautious respect for the unknown. They believe that if they disrespect the spirits and try to act brave in the darkness of the night, Gao Echo will punish them. He is said to punish those who ridicule or disrespect the spirits and mock the Basque traditions. Gao Echo's powers are vast and enigmatic. Some say that he is capable of bringing about chaos and destruction whenever he pleases, and others say that he is the master of all dark magic. For this reason, the Basque people have always considered him a force to be reckoned with, and they have always been careful not to tempt his wrath by doing anything that could be seen as disrespectful. Those who believe in Gao Echo often make offerings to appease his wrath, especially when they enter the forests or other areas where he is known to reside. They believe that he must be placated, and that doing so can grant them protection against his powers. In conclusion, Gao Echo is a powerful yet an enigmatic figure from Basque mythology. He represents the power of darkness and the fear of the unknown, and his influence can be felt in all aspects of Basque culture. The Basque people have always respected his power and his ability to bring about destruction, and they have always made sure to keep him content. The Hentelac are mythical creatures that exist in Basque folklore and mythology. They are believed to be giants, often portrayed as peaceful and friendly beings with great physical strength. The word Hentel itself means giant in the Basque language. Hentelac are described as enormous humanoid beings, with heights ranging between 10 to 15 feet tall, or 3 to 4.5 meters. They possess a robust and muscular physique, covered in shaggy hair or fur. Some legends depict them as having one eye, while others show them with two piercing eyes. They are known for being incredibly strong, with the power to lift and move massive rocks effortlessly. Hentelac are generally associated with kindness, hospitality, and a gentle nature. They are often portrayed as being friendly towards humans and sometimes even helping them. In Basque mythology, Hentelac are considered the original inhabitants of the land, and they possess a deep connection to nature and the spirit world. There are various legends associated with the Hentelac, often showcasing their extraordinary abilities and interactions with humans. One legend tells of a Hentel named Sorhina, that helped build ancient megalithic structures, known as dolmens, found in the Basque country, using supernatural strength. Another story recounts how a Hentel gifted a Basque shepherd a magical shearing tool that sped up his work immensely. The Hentelac play a significant role in Basque culture and have become an iconic symbol within the region. They are often depicted in Basque art, literature, and traditional festivals. 
several towns and villages hold celebrations and parades dedicated to the Hentilak as a way of honoring their heritage and folklore. The Hentilak are sometimes seen as a representation of the ancient Basque people, who were known for their ability to coexist with nature and their strength. They embody the connection between humans and their environment, emphasizing the importance of harmonious relationships and respect for the land. Being part of oral tradition, the exact origins and characteristics of the Hentilak vary across different regions of the Basque country. Nevertheless, these mythical giants continue to captivate the imagination of the Basque people, serving as a reminder of their rich folklore and cultural heritage.